My name is Stacy Gabriel, and I'm director of the Broad Institute's genomics platform. So DNA sequencing refers to reading out the chemical letters that make up DNA. Our DNA sequence, our genomes, are made up of DNA, and DNA is composed of basically four chemical compounds or four chemical bits. Um, we abbreviate those as A, T, G, and C. And when we say we're sequencing DNA, what we're doing is reading out that combination of letters, basically. And there's unique combinations of those letters throughout our genome. So we actually do this activity of comparative sequencing to be able to line up different genomes to figure out regions where they might overlap. And that might tell us something about the functional importance of a region of DNA. Because if I share a piece of DNA with a worm, and it's been saved through all that time of, of evolution, it probably means that piece of DNA is important. So it's really been remarkable. Um, the first human genome sequence cost hundreds of millions of dollars to generate one single human genome, and it took 10 years of effort by many labs across the country. And now we're able to sequence a human genome in a day for a couple thousand dollars. Well, I'd like to think what's next is more sequencing, um, perhaps sequencing of all of us. You know, our genomes are something that really don't change throughout our lifetime, largely. You know, set aside the case of cancer, where a bit of your genome will change to cause a tumor. Um, your, your germline, the genome that you have inherited half from your mom and half from your dad, is really yours for your life. And I think as, as our research grows over time, we're going to learn more about interpreting and using that information in our genomes. And so I certainly like to think of a day when everybody's genome is sequenced and it's really it's part of your medical record that is there for a reference, that's there for a lookup table. And um, this is not going to be next year, it might not be in five years, but um, I think it's definitely the future that, that, that we're aiming for.